Hello, this is Adele and today we are going to work with the core muscles, okay, quite specifically in the transverse abdominus, okay, the muscles that is very close to the spine, the bone, okay, that helps us to keep us upright and if we learn how to really use it when we are moving, we find more comfort in our shoulders and our hip joints. So we will need some props along the way. So if you have them, okay, put them to the side now. Okay, so a yoga block or you can use a rolled up towel. Okay, and if you like, this is something fancy, you can use a big blanket or a, or a yoga blanket or something that can prop your seat. Okay, so this is these are all optional, okay? So you can keep them handy. So to so start with, we want to be clear on where we are engaging, okay, where we are putting our weight on later. So sacrum, okay, the top of the pants, you put your palm there with your fingers pointing down. Okay, that's your sacrum. Okay, and if you use your fingers to feel it, okay, the middle part of it, you should feel something that is like wedging outwards. Okay, that's the medium median sacral crest. So that's later when we'll rest our weight on when we start to engage the core. Okay. When I say when you lie down on your back, when I say you find your neutral curves, you should be able to slide a few fingers under your low back. Okay. So let's start from there with the block and B. So we give ourselves a little time to prep ourselves for practice. So lie on your back. Your legs long, your arms beside the body. Take a few moments allowing the body to become quiet. Use it as a time to really sense, to notice your own body, your breath. Slide one hand below the chest, one hand on your lower belly, elbows are relaxed. Just a few rounds of breath to keep start the practice. Take an inhale and an exhale. So you might feel the chest or the belly move more. Both are fine. Take an inhale and exhale. If you can, seal your lips for this breath practice. Inhaling. Pause the breath if you can. Exhaling. Pause the breath. Inhaling. Pause. Exhaling. Pause. Few more rounds like that. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. On your own for three more rounds. Relax your arms by the side, palms face down. Notice if your body is a little bit calmer, a little bit more at ease. We're going to get a little stretch through the front body. Okay, so just, just arm movements. Relaxing the shoulders, arms at the side, palms face down. Inhale, reach your arms forward and backwards, resting onto your bent elbows. Exhale, slowly take your arms by the sides. Inhale, lifting your arms over the head, elbows soft. Exhale, slowly arms down. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, elbows down, arms by the sides. Feel the stretch across the chest and the belly. Inhaling, arms over the head. Exhaling, arms down. So we're aiming for four to six times. Inhaling. And exhaling. Good. Then from there, start to bend your knees, feet stand on the ground. Bring your right knee into your chest. Half with one hand on the knee, one hand on the shin. Pressing your lower back to the ground with exhale. 
Inhale, arms open to the side, legs straight up to the sky. Exhale, pull the knee in and feel like your lower back pressing against the ground. Inhale, arm open, chest open, legs straight. Exhaling, pull the knee into the chest, lower back flat. Inhaling, so about aiming four to six times per leg. Exhaling, feeling a sense of your lower back. Inhaling, chest open, elbow soft. Exhaling. Good, release the right leg down. Bring your left knee to chest, one hand on knee, one hand on shin. Feel the lower back pressing down to the ground to start. Inhale, arms open, legs straighten. Exhale, pull the knee towards the chest, flatten your lower back against the ground. Inhale to open. Exhale to pull inwards. Inhale to open. Exhale, lower back flatten to the ground more. Inhale to open. And exhale. Good. Then from there, release your arms, release your feet to the ground. So you can use two to three fingers, find your top hip points. Okay. Use the fingers feel, um, and feel that your feet okay, are parallel to each other, standing comfortably. So you with your fingers on your top hip bone, you can just rock like you're doing cat cow against the ground. What you'll be feeling, okay, first, you'll feel it arching off your lower back and pressing flat of your lower back. And then if you remember what I mentioned at the start of the class, the middle part of the sacrum, there's a few bones that you can wedge onto. So once you find that, okay, you'll feel a little space below your lower back. Okay, there shouldn't be any pain, even as you're finding your neutral curve. Take your block if you have one or washcloth, okay, and squeeze the block between your thighs. Once you squeeze, okay, you feel stable, you should feel a light lift of the pelvic floor towards the chest area. You reduce the squeezing, squeeze again, feel that tone in the lower belly, it doesn't bulge out. Release the squeezing for a while, squeeze the block, release. Notice that with the squeezing, you do not hold your breath, squeeze the block. Release, maintaining neutral spine throughout. Squeeze the block. And then with the squeezing of block, the lifting of the pelvic floor, you can always stabilize yourself more by pulling down the sides of the mat. Float your feet about one to two inches off the ground. Feeling the tone in the lower belly when you use your fingers to press against it. Just a few rounds of slow breathing in and out through your nose. Maintaining neutral curves, cinch in the hip bones, cinch in the ribs if you can. Maintain normal breath, come down earlier if you need to. And slowly press the feet down to the ground. We'll go for one more round, really engaging into the transverse abs, the corsetting muscles that we have to support our body. Okay, so if you feel tired, take a rest further. Otherwise, come with me. Okay, you can stabilize yourself by pulling down the sides of the mat as mentioned. Squeeze the block, engage your pelvic floor, maintain neutral curve in the back on the medium sacred crest and then just lift your feet off. Maintain breathing, cinch in more the hip points and the ribs inwards to the middle line if you can. Just inhale, exhale, comfortable breath. Feel the tone in the lower abs not bulging out. Okay, just feel it taut. If you find struggle in your breath, you're feeling very uncomfortable, feeling too much lower back pain, you can put a small cloth at the lower back to create more support or just slide your hands under the lower back. And slowly rest the feet down. Good. Then from there, okay, just finding this neutral curve, raise the feet off the ground. You can continue to keep the block between your thighs, your arms lower than your shoulders, squeeze the block, inhale, okay, exhale, drop both knees over to halfway to the right side, left shoulder heavy. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, drop the knees halfway to the left side. Inhale, come back to center. Now working with the obliques to help to help in the whole core muscle activation. Exhale, over to your right side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to the left side. A few more times. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to your right side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, over to the left side. One more set. Inhale, center. 
exhale over to the right side, maybe hover a little bit, using the squeezing of the black to help, to help you to hover. Breathing. Neutral your breath. Squeeze the block, come back to the center. And exhale, dropping over to the left side. Just squeeze the block, maintain the stability. Spinal curves are still there, working on the obliques. And slowly exhale, come back to center. Feet plant, take the block to one side. Take inhale, if you lost your neutral curve, find it now. Exhale, soothe the belly, soothe the breath. Inhale. And exhale. Then from there, roll over to one side. Take a few breaths and then slowly pick yourself up to an all fours position. From an all fours position, we are going to further build on that awareness of the neutral curves. Okay, push your palms on the ground below the shoulders and tuck your toes. Feel that light singeing in of the waist as you find that your neck and jaws are relaxed as you look forward. Good. Then from there, slowly drop your right elbow, left elbow to the ground. Cross your thumb, interlace your fingers. Find you press down onto the fleshy part of your forearms. Shoulders comfortable, forearms pressing down to the ground. Your breath is comfortable and flowing. Okay, then you feel the nice strong lift of the chest away from the ground. Then you can slide your knees about one feet back as your shoulders come over the elbows into a forearm plank. Good, now okay. feel free to shift your elbows a little bit more if you need more support. Softening the neck. Good, and those who want more, you lift the feet, maintaining neutral spine, breathing in forearm plank, push through the heels, pull in the belly towards the spine, stay. Use the legs, breathing. Tap the knees down whenever you need to. And slowly from there, you can pull your knee forward. Come back onto hands and knees, all fours. Inhale, one breath here. Exhale, feel a light pulling in of their belly and the lower back towards the middle of the body. Take one more inhale here. And exhale. Let's go for a second round of forearm plank. Knee down if you need to. Interlace your fingers. Press down the elbows. Press down the forearms. Slide your knees further back. Knee supported forearm plank. Lift the legs if you like to. Keep breathing. Tap the knees down, pull the knees forward, come back to hands and knees, all fours. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Same thing, but on the sides, press the right elbow down. The right knee can slide back in line with the right elbow and hinge onto your right knee. Okay, so you are comfortable, your elbow and knee pretty much in the same profile, good, and then lift the ribs away from the ground as your top hip angle down. Feel free to look down, feel free to take the top hand on hip or down on fingertips on the ground. Maintain neutral spine as you lift the ribs away, you lift the hips away, breathing. Turn the top hip down which tends to go back. Finding strength, lifting away from the ground. Okay, great for just maintain the shoulder integrity as you press down to lift off the ribs. And then slowly from there, you can help yourself down. Knee down on hands and knees or fours. Always give yourself the luxury of breath count, okay, of rest as you need to. Just going to go to the other side, same thing. Okay, same thing, left elbow down to the ground. Hinge onto your left outer knee. Put a put a wedge below or put a soft towel below for more padding. Take the right hand on hip if you like to. Turn the right hip down but lift the right ribs away from the ground. Back long. Feel free to look down. Relax the jaws. Keep on breathing. You can get tired actually.
feel the lift of the pelvic floor and slowly from there you can drop yourself down coming back up again one more round with level up if you want to back to the right side okay so you are same thing on the forearms on the knees but this time you take the left foot step forward and feel free to straighten the right leg below you left hand on ribs okay top hip turn down push away from the ground okay feel like you stabilize the right shoulder lifting away from the ground breathing so the left foot is standing comfortably to help you to plunge down to lift up so a few rounds of breath as your body allows slowly from there drop the right knee down left knee step push your palms and slowly come back up one last side so you're working to a longer cow as you get more strong okay. so right foot stand left leg straighten back against the pinky toe so your ankles feel lifted push down so i always find that looking down a little bit is more comfortable to challenge yourself you're looking to the side Lift the hips, lift the side ribs away from the ground. Really asking your obliques to help you to stabilize in this pose. Then from there, knee down, step the knees, come back on all fours. Now you start to become more aware of the neutral curves and using the muscles to help to maintain the neutral curves on the body. Let's see if you can play around a little bit. Inhale, gently arch your back. Exhale to hunch your back, tuck your toes if you like to. Inhale, stretch the belly and the chest forward. And exhale, hunching your back. Find a little coordination. Maintain neutral spine. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, hand down, knee up. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, down. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale down, finding balance. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale down. Inhale to change sides. Exhale down. Inhale to change. Exhale down. Just opposite arm and leg. Inhale to change. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale to change. Exhale down. Up in the challenge. Inhale, right arm, left leg. This time, Arms sweep up, left knee to elbow. Inhale, come back. Hand down, knee down. Left arm, right leg. Arms sweep up, knee towards the right elbow. Inhale, come back forward. Hand down, knee down. Aiming for three more sets. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, crunch the left knee towards the left elbow. Inhale, back center. Exhale, down. Inhale to the left. Exhale, elbow to knee, inhale back, exhale down, inhale right arm, exhale knee to elbow, inhale reach, exhale down, inhale left arm, exhale crunch, inhale reach, exhale down, one more set if you are for it, otherwise rest, inhale right arm, exhale crunch, Inhale, reach out, exhale down. Inhale, left, left arm to the back, elbow to knee. Inhale, come back forward, exhale down. Then from there, you can rest in hero pose for a little while. Your wrists or your shoulders are feeling tired, slide your hands on your knees or your thighs. Inhale, the strong work, exhale. Deep inside, close to the bones, inhale, exhale. One more breath, inhale, exhale, slide back onto hands and knees, then from there toes tuck under the chest to check on the stability of neutral spine, right arm forward, find that balancing. Just three, two, one, left leg goes back, extend the cat. Exhale, hand down, left foot step outside the left hand, lizard high lunge with your back leg lifting straight. 
Extend the spine, inhale. Exhale, you stay. Your hands can be on blocks or ground. Inhale. And slowly knee down, all fours. Inhale in cat pose. Left arm go forward. Find the breath, find the stationary core balance. Good. Right leg goes back, extend the cat. Exhale, hands down, right foot step outside the right hand. Back leg lifting, spread the toes, tuck onto the pinky toe side. Front knee bend on top of the ankles. Stretch the chest, lengthen the spine, inhale. Exhale, soft jaws, inhale. Left knee down, right knee back, all fours, inhale. Toes back, you can sit the buttocks back gently. Drop the forearms and the elbows to the ground. Soften to make sure no tension rests in the neck area. You can slightly turn your face to your right and slightly turn your face to your left. Come back to stand center. Spread your fingers. Inhale on all fours. Tuck the toes under. Float the knees up and exhale downward facing dog. Feel the long spine as your thighs and buttocks push back. Staying here. Soft jaws and neck. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, layering on the practice, inhale, exhale, raise your heels, right leg, give it a little lift, then from there, bend the right knee towards the right elbow like just now, step the right foot outside the right hand, use your hand to assist with your shot, inhale, press down through the palms, left hand stay, left toe stay, right hand to the inner right knee, turn the chest, or feel free for right arm. Open to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Optional. Right arm across the ear. Feel the long stretch. Hand down. Right leg back into plank pose. Exhale. Back to downward dog where your thighs and butt push back like you're sitting on the wall behind you. Raise your heels. Left leg up. Three legged dog. Just a light lift. Getting ready to step forward. Left knee towards the left elbow. Shoulder will start straight forward. Left foot outside the left hand, knees at lunge. Palm to stay, lengthen. Left hand to the left inner knee, turn your chest. Left arm option to the sky. Or option across the ear, getting a nice reach through the side body. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Hand down. This time, pop onto your fingertips. And step your right foot outside the right hand into a wide half squat. Fingers below the chest, stretch your neck slightly, turn the feet parallel to one another. You soften your knees as you go into a forward fold. Both hands over to your outer right ankle. You fold into your outer right leg. You can bend your knees so you can feel a little rest. Come back through center, both hands go over to the outer left ankle. Slowly come back to center, hands on shins or hands on ankles, inhale, flat back. Exhale to stay. Slide your hands on the hips, slowly come up through standing. So feet parallel, wider than shoulders, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, soft knees, arms forward, standing forward fold. Inhale, arms reach up as you slowly bring yourself up to standing. Exhale, arms down. Few rounds of that. Inhale, arms over him. Long lift. Exhale, arms forward, soft knees, soft elbows, forward fold. Inhale, lift yourself up. Slow down the pace if you're feeling lightheaded. Exhale, arms down. A nice pause after each breath. Inhale, arms over hip, pause. Exhale, arms forward, forward fold. Pause. Inhale to lift up as you stand your ground. Pause. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale this time. Arms lower to shoulder height as you twist over to the right side. Inhale, you back to center. Exhale, you twist over to the left as your arms drop down to shoulder height or lower. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Twist. One more breath. Inhale to lift. Exhale to twist. Both arms up to the sky. Over soft knees. Exhale forward fold. Slide your hands below your face. 
You can keep back both knees as soft as you like to. Then from there, especially your left knee, inhale, right arm up to the sky. Exhale, right hand catch onto the left ankle. Keep your knees soft. Inhale, left arm up to the sky, onto your hip. Exhale, left hand catch your right ankle. Then from there, you can bend your elbows outwards, forward, fold as your body weight shift more to the toes. Slide your hands onto the tops of the shoulders. Lift with your heart. Inhale, slowly come up to standing like a bear hug. You can cross your forearms, cross your wrists, eagle arms. You're standing supported, shifting your weight to the front of the heels. Inhale, then gently lift from belly to chest as you do like a standing back bend. Exhale, drop the elbows to chest. One more round to lift up. Inhale, lift. And this time, exhale, you forward fold with eagle arms. Let go of your arms. Relax the jaws, neck. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Shift the more, bit more forward. Maybe your legs get a little bit more comfortable straight. Inhale and exhale take your hands below your face again so starting with the left arm soft knees okay if you feel just now you feel a lot in the shoulders you can inhale pull the left elbow up as you lift the left arm to sky into a twist exhale left hand to right ankle same thing on the right side inhale lead with the right elbow and turn the chest to the right arm go for a lift exhale right hand on left ankle Bend the elbows outwards to the wrist, forward fold. Shine the thighs and butt back up. Fold down, soften the neck. You can slightly bend your knees, hands on opposite shoulder. Lead with your heart, breathing, slowly come up. Cross the forearms, eager arms, the tongue is in front of the nose. Stable foundation, inhale, stretch from belly to sternum. Exhale, just come back to neutral. Inhale, once again, stretch from belly to sternum. Exhale, you go for all the way forward, fold. Undo your arms. If you like headed, just take your hands on the ankles, go for a half lift. Exhale. Then from there, you are at the top of the mat still. Take your hands below the shoulders. And then from here, you step the right foot back. Come into lizard lunge, you step the left foot back, come into plank pose, tap the knees down, all fours. Inhale in this quadruped position. Exhale. One more round of breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Press the palms, float the knees. Exhale, downward facing dog ties and bum back. Heels next to your upper arms, you are pressing your weight towards the heels. Until the heels feel so heavy, the toes are light. There's nice integrity in your core, which is starting maybe to function better and better for you. So right at the start, being a more flexible body, okay, I tend to use my back muscles more than my core muscles. So you could feel more tedious at the start, but with over the course of the practice, some of us might be feeling a little bit more in tune with our core right now. Toes point forward, raise the heels, inhale, right leg, open your right hip, three-legged dog, open hip. You're looking underneath the right armpit slightly. Take the top knee to bend, heel to butt. Good. Relax the jaws, feel yourself here for a little bit. Good. Then from there, turn to look forward, right knee towards the right elbow. Inhale to come up. Right knee towards the chest. Inhale to come up, we're going for the chest again. Right knee to the chest and step your right foot between the hands. Left foot a little bit out to the left side, angle your toes 60 degrees front. Lift your chest, your hands can come on hip. Inhale, come into warrior one. The right leg is on the right side, the left foot is on the left side. Your chest turns forward, facing to the front. Sit into your front leg, pelvis set between the legs. Wedge the back leg straight. Feel free to let your arms drop here. Soften on the shoulders and the breath. Or inhale, come up into warrior one. Breathing. Exhale, take the arms down, keeping the foundation. Inhale, reach your arms up. Getting a lift in the ribs away from the pelvis. 
exhale, arms down, so how we're going to stay, inhale, warrior one, feel the strong leg foundation, lift up through the ribs, soft fingers, feel free to look ahead, sing, for a few more breaths, Good, then exhale, arms down, front leg straighten. Good, take a moment, inhale. Then from there, we bend the front knee, but shift the weight to the front leg as your back toes tuck the ground and your back heel lift. Shift your body weight forward, hands to ground. Bend your back knee and front leg straighten, modified pyramid pose. Hands are framing the front foot. You can keep the front foot flat. Or dig into the heel as you fold closer to your right inner thigh. Good. Using your back leg for help as you squeeze the front leg straight, breathing. For three, for two, for one. Step the right foot flat, press the left palm. Okay, then from there you can shift the left toes more to the midline in line with your face. Okay. Make sure your shoulder is comfortable. A little bit behind the wrist, you wedge on the left edge of the foot, right foot step down halfway, supported side plank. Same as forearm side plank but pushing off the ground. Then from there you can look down, fingers cup the ground and right leg stretch back. You can lift your arms again or just feel free to keep the hands down. Press the hands down, shoulder width apart plank pose. Exhale, knees down, bend the elbows backwards, lower down slow. Shoulders slide back, lift up your heart, lift up the chest. Feel your thighs heavy and stretching backwards, baby cobra. Lower down the chest, hands beside the ribs, push off the ground. Exhale, downward facing dog. Suction the fingers, palm and index especially. Arms pushing, thighs back. Toes point ahead. Raise the heels, left leg go for a lift. Three leg dog open hip. Bend the top knee, heel to butt. Soft jaw snap, looking underneath the left armpit. Level off the hips, left knee to left elbow direction. Inhale, come up. Feel free to drop the right knee now. Left knee to chest. Inhale, come up. Left foot step between the hands. Right foot angle up 60 degrees. Left knee on top of the ankles. Inhale, lift the torso up. Rounding yourself as you turn your ribs facing forward. Then from there, stay here. Just dropping your weight in. Or reach your arms up in here. Exhale, arms down. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, just getting the leg foundation. While you feel a lift through the body over the strong leg bones. Exhale, arms down. Inhale to lift. Back leg is straight, exhale to lower, last time we stay, inhale to lift, good, it's almost like a little back bend, stretching from belly to sternum, looking up only if your neck permits, otherwise just looking forward, breathe. Check your hands onto your hips, shift the weight to the left leg as your right toes tuck under, Body weight shift forward, hands frame the front foot, back knee to bend, front leg to straighten. Step onto your feet flat, or do a dorsi flex of your front ankle to get a little bit calf. Good. Shift the weight, spread your toes, shift the weight into your back toes and your front heel. Fold in just comfortable. Fingertips cup under to frame the front foot. Good. Squeeze your left thigh, breathing. And slowly from there, step into your left foot. Put your right hand a little bit beyond the shoulders, right foot. One knee step in so you can, as you wedge down the pinky toe side of the foot, the hand is more or less in line with the ankles. Left foot halfway down. Get a nice positioning of the shoulders. Turn the chest, hand on hip, hips and ribs lift away from the ground. Left arm can up to the sky, breathing. Left hand to cut the ground, so you can wedge the left foot back, stay here, and once again lift the left arm to the sky, left hand down, plank position, supported plank, knee down, elbows bend, lower down, toes stretch back, 
Thighs heavy. Inhale to baby cobra. I'll stretch from belly out from the top of the thighs into a high cobra. And slowly push through your hands or force. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Come on, tiptoes, both knees down to the ground or force. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Tuck the toes to the side. White legged downward facing dog ties and buttocks back. Take a few moments. Soften your knees. Give the weight to the legs as you start to walk back your hands. Right angle forward fold. Hands below the chest on two blocks. Turn the toes out. Angle out. Bend your knees half squat and rest your forearms on your thighs. Sit into your legs, give the weight to the legs. Just knee flexion to where you can. You can use the forearms on thighs to exhale, squeezing yourself up straight. Hands to the heart center or hands on hips. Inhale, keep the toes angled out. Exhale into a half squat. Maybe you find that you can control your descent a little bit lower. And slowly exhale, come up to standing. Good. And from there, toes point ahead, interlace your fingers, palms push down. Give a nice overhead reach. So you can change the hand position to hands apart or keep them interlaced, whichever helps you for better breathing. Feel the head, the chest, the belly, pelvis, okay, in a nice plumb line. Then from there, side bend over to your right side. Back to center. Exhale, side bend over to your left side. Come back to center, inhale. Exhale, arms down to the side. Turn your feet forward. Okay, your feet parallel about one or two feet width apart. Start to wedge your weight onto your right leg. As you bring your left knee up. Mm -hmm. Checking your balance, you can feel free to reach your right arm up next to your ear. Your hands down onto your hips, both hands. Bend the standing leg, cross the left thigh over the right. Stay here or point the left toes down on the ground or just in the air or wrap it behind the ankles. Hard for me. Sit into an invisible chair. And let's get the left elbow underneath the right elbow. We prep for this just now. Eagle arms or give yourself a bear hug. We're going to upright position instead. So finding neutral spine. Inhale, you start to lift the elbows as you stretch from belly to sternum. Exhale, you stay. Inhale. Exhale. Continue to stay. Inhale. Exhale. One more round of breath, you're doing great. Inhale, exhale. Elbows down the chest, unwrap your hands, hands on hips, lower the left foot down, relax the arms. Relax the shoulders down away from ears. Find that plumb line for a moment. Feel free to close your eyes, noticing if you can find a balance front and back, right and left. Then when you're ready, Toes pointing forward, parallel, through the outer edges of the foot. And shift weight onto your left knee, can you bring your right knee up. Feel free to challenge, left arm up. So, okay, control lateral balance, opposite arm and leg. Hands to hips, cross your right thigh over your left, you can tuck the toes, back leg is bent, so you can really hug the thighs inwards in the eagle. Hip points point in front. Right elbow underneath the left elbow, a hug or eagle. Good. You maintain your sense of balance. Then inhale, slowly lift from belly to sternum as your elbows lift. Ooh, okay. Good. Take a few moments. 
Inhale, exhale at your own pace. The more you tense, the easier it is to fall. Elbow to chest, release the arms, hands to hips, relax, find a plumb line. So when I feel I was falling, okay, I tense more time. Ah, okay, I need to balance, okay, I need balance as inspiration. But sometimes, you know, things just happen. Okay, maybe you're feeling tight that day, balance not coming to you. So just give yourself a break. Good. And slowly you can step up to the front of the mat. We're going to take ourselves down. So over soft knees, you can press your hands down and slide your knees back, coming off the all fours. Then from there, your toes going back, elbows bent as you exhale, sit into your heels into a supported child's pose. Good. Let the lower back stretch lightly. Squeeze the arms straight. Take your right hand, track through your left hand, left knee. You can face down or you can face slightly left. The right shoulder is not forced onto the ground. There's a soft kind of like a feel, padding. So you see, it's not down to the ground, just letting. You can put something below here for more support. Otherwise, this is fine, especially if you feel compression in the front. Facing down, if you can, take the left arm, cross the right arm. Take your hands on the shoulders and slowly come up to hero. You slide your hands to the opposite elbow and slowly feel like you're brushing the hair at the top of the head. Exhale, arms down, take your hands onto opposite elbow. Feel a nice little lift through the ribs. Slowly from here, and just turn your face to your right side. Come back forward and turn your face to your left side. Turn back forward, inhale. Exhale, let the arms and once again go into your child's pose with elbows supported to the ground. You can adjust your knees to be closer if there's no pain in the knee joint or ankle joint. Helps to stretch the lower back more effectively. Then from there, right palm press. Lift the forearms, left arm thread through. Take a few moments, getting snug. So I'll just be higher, that's okay. Okay, but feel the feel like there's a weight on the seat, okay, to pull down to really get a little bit more rounded in the lower back area. Right arm can cross as you face down. It's like crossing over, crossing the upper arms at the front of your chest. Hands on opposite shoulder. Slowly as you come up to hero, slide your hands on opposite elbow. Same thing. If you feel uncomfortable, press on the shins. Inhale, brush the crown of the head. Maybe the arms go back. Maybe it just stays in line with your forehead or the crown of the head. Exhale, cross the forearms below. Can be high kneeling or hero pose. This time from here, you drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Feel the left shoulder slightly depressed. You can slide your chin to your collarbone facing down to your right thigh. Face forward, head upright, left ear, left shoulder. Left chin to collarbone. Turn back forward. Release the arms as you upright your head. Inhale. And exhale back to hands and knees. Now get the knees together. And you pull the right knee to go behind the left knee. Then the left knee come back to the center line. Open the feet. You press more weight onto your right shin as you drop down onto your forearms for support. Pat the knees if the front of the knees feel a little bit, if the kneecap feel very uncomfortable. 
or you can skip this part. So my forearms on the ground is offering quite a lot of support to prevent too much weight going onto the knees. You slide the hands back to your knees and you come to a cow face flex. So I'm going to shift myself forward. So the knees are more or less stacked. If you feel a little bit lopsided, you walk forward, you stack the legs more, open the heels and sit back. Okay. So if you need to, this is a good time to you can sit on the towel behind you. Okay, just any proper surface and you find it's easier to get the lift. Good, okay, then sit tall. So the top leg, okay. If you still don't feel comfortable, you don't have a prop, you can also choose to right leg forward, wedge against the left foot. So the right leg is coming up from the pelvis going forward. Okay, or you can do the classical position. So putting the towel below me allows my spine to be naturally lifted with lesser effort. I wedge against my outer edge of the feet. Then from there, the left arm goes out. I feel like I'm turning a jar forward in a rotation of the shoulder, bend my elbow. My hand is trying to come closer as it slides up to the base of the neck. So I just give the shoulder, okay, it's rolling forward. I imagine it rolling backwards. Okay, so just get comfortable. You can use your right hand to assist pulling the upper arm inwards and sliding the fingers closer to the base of the neck which will look something like this okay you can stay here with the right hand holding the left elbow or right arm up to the sky and then the top elbow drop a strap or catch your hair, the top palm facing back, the bottom palm facing out. The so same thing. So the left shoulder drop down, the right arm side feeling a lift. Then the head is slightly wedged onto the forearms. And slowly reduce the grip, release the right arm. And release the bottom arm. Take a few moments. Inhale. Exhale. Feel the shoulders melting away from the ears. Especially the tops of the shoulders. Get tense. Then you can, if you are, we're not going to shift back onto all fours. You can go back there and then cross the left leg behind. Otherwise, okay, if you have, especially if you have a towel behind you, okay, you lean back. Cross the other leg over to step the knees more comfortable. Slide your hands forward, shift onto your shins, step the knees, and sit back. Okay, alternative, as I mentioned, left leg goes up, wedge onto the right outer ankle, roll a towel below the left knee if you need extra support, padding for the knees. Spine naturally upright, top leg coincides with the bottom arm, right arm out. Turn a jar, so you know, rotate your left, right shoulder. Bend the elbow, feel like your hand is coming closer to your armpit towards the right base of neck. Okay, I'm feeling it tighter on this side. Most of us are right-handed, might feel that too. Left hand can help, pull the upper arm. We can pull the upper arm in, but some of us find difficulty in the uh, elbow flexion. Okay, we'll be gentle with that. Left arm up, bend the elbow, drop it. Good. Right shoulder down, left armpit up. It's almost like a little bit of a, a curve towards the right side. I'm just looking straight forward. Some of us might feel uh, it's easier to get the chin close to the chest. For starters, yes. Over time, you feel like your chin is level with the ground. Getting a lift as you squeeze the thighs and get your pelvic floor using the transverse abs to get this lifted. So it's freer in the hips, freer in the shoulders for us to do such a complex pose. Doing great. Left arm release, right arm release. Okay, feel free to shrug the shoulders. With exhale, ha. One more time, shrug the shoulders. Exhale, ha. 
You can bring your right hand to your left top of your shoulders. Squeeze out the tension. Rehydrate with nice, beautiful energies. Squeeze out the tension. Allow it to rehydrate with energy. One more time, squeeze out the tension. Rehydrate. Change. Left. Rehydrate. Okay, squeeze out. Release. One more time, squeeze out. And release. Good. Then you can just rotate your wrist. Finding you working at the extremities, bring that nice movement of energy up through the arms to the shoulders. You can interlace your fingers, push your palms forward and up to the sky. Release your arms, uncross your legs. Then you can sweep your knees to one side, take the problem out of the way. Okay, slowly lay your legs straight up forward. Help yourself on forearms to lie down onto your back. Give yourself a nice old head reach. Inhale, arms over head, legs out long. Exhale to relax. Bend your knees, stand your feet to the ground. And then same thing. Okay, same practice. Your two to three fingers can find the top hip points. And just gently tilt and tuck a few rounds. Okay. So you just rest on the middle of the sacrum with a natural back curve. There's a natural tone in the belly. Even if you don't deliberately engage the pelvic floor a lot. Your hand, one hand below the chest, one hand on the lower belly you like to. Feel the natural movement of your belly up and down with your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three more rounds on your own. Lay your arms by the sides of the body. You can open your feet wider, knock your knees in further. If you like to, just a few rounds of windshield wiper twist. Just swing. Notice the sensations of your feet against the ground. There's some level of groundedness. Notice the natural curve in your back. And when you're satisfied, just stretch the legs long out. Let the legs flop out to the side. Maybe rather than your back very flat on the ground, okay, the body is finding its more anatomy neutral position of the spine. A light stretch in the belly, a light curve in the low back, light curve of the neck away from the ground with a thin towel below the head or just the ground. Soften the arms just rest comfortably away from the body. The fingers are soft, the fingers are curved. Feeling support underneath you. Turning more and more quiet. In your Shavasana. I will leave you in your Shavasana. Feel free to stay here as long as you like to, to feel the rejuvenation. Otherwise, do remember to at least spend a few more breaths in it before you end the session. Helps to give a nice conclusion and integration that is very much treasured in a yoga practice for the whole experience to be integrated, to be learned.
Namaste.